Uh, dude. It's been a while since you guys have seen me face to face, a face to face talk. Am I right, boys? Anyway, hope you guys are enjoying, enjoying Slow the Game Down Just a Little Bit Part 2. It took a whole half a day to make it. Uh, and I'm very excited for this, the three quote. The thing about those is there's so many clips of him saying it, I have to wait until enough come out to fill the time yet. It's some I can't use. Because the memes are, they either work or they don't. So, I mean, it's totally situational. I don't even know if it'll be around next year. Anyway, I came here to apologize for um, what happened with Majora's Mask. And this isn't like, you know, I'm, not, I'm ending the series or whatever, because I'm not. But something was keeping me from making more. I did... A ton of videos with um on Majora's Mask, you know, playing the game. Two whole episodes. They're both really long, and uh, my webcam broke, so there's just a giant red square in the bottom right, and not, my face is not there, and it's really annoying. And I didn't want to upload them for a while, but I decided I will because I need to continue the series and. We just kind of move forward with this. So, I apologize for the inconvenience, but my webcam is absent from these videos. And I'm, I'm doing kind of edited better, you know, so it's less of me just sitting there talking with no face cam. So, anyway, without further ado, enjoy this unfortunate episode slash couple of episodes of Majora's Mask. And I'll continue with the series very soon. What's up, YouTube? This is Brovity2, and welcome back to the Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. In this episode, we're going to be getting the piece of heart that uh, we can get with the Mask of Truth, which is the mask that we got in the last episode, Breaky's Live. Um, and after that, we will be going to the Zora area to get the Zora Mask and begin uh, our way to the next dungeon, basically. I forget which way I'm going. It's not this way. Actually, wait. First, we need to buy a powder keg. Alright, so the boulder is gone. We're gonna go ahead and go in. And there's one building in here that we need the Mask of Truth for in order to get a piece of art. We might be here a while because it's a gambling minigame. So if our luck isn't the best, that would be unfortunate. Actually, we need rupees. We need a lot of rupees. I don't have any. Hmm. Oh, we can gamble our way up to get enough rupees. Anyway, it's this building right here. The Dog Racetrack, I believe it's called. Here we are. And now we need the Mask of Truth. Alright. What do you want? This is M Mama Moo Yen's doggy racetrack, just like the sign says. Do you want to try to... Oh, the minimum bet's 10. I don't have 10. I don't have 10! I'll be back with eight, two more rupees. Alright, yeah, 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 yeah. Alright. Then first, go in and fetch the dog who you'll think around the fastest and bring it here. Alright, so what we do is we wear the Mask of Truth and figure out which doggy will run the best by seeing how confident they are. I feel like I could win, but I could also lose. So you just gotta find a dog who thinks they're gonna win. Oh, not you. What about you? That should do pretty well. Not good enough. I should do all right. Not good enough. My belly hurts. I feel like I can win. You feel like you can win, but you don't know you'll win. <sighs> we're, we're betting big. Oh, I can only bet... Big 90 rupees. He's, he's gotta do good, guys.
No. That's it. We got it. There we go. It only took 20 minutes. All right. So we got it. It only took luck of the draw and a big risk. But uh, we got the heart piece. You have to get 150 rupees on that game. You have to win that. So, yeah. Anyway, we got our reward. Now all we have to do is go over to Great Bay on Epona. Uh, so we can get into Great Bay because you can't get in without her. And then we will uh, be able to continue in the game. All right, let's go over to Great Bay. It's right here on the east. No, the west. I know. I know which way things go. And then we use opponent to jump this wall to get into Great Bay. And here we are. I love the Great Bay music. It's so good. Like, every single theme is a spoof of, the, you know, the same theme. Like the... Bah, bah. But they're all in different formats, and this is my favorite one. So here in Great Bay, you have a lot of these guys. But you see those seagulls over there? Uh, there's something over there, and we're going to have to go over there and check it out. But first, we're going to go ahead and get this... Uh, what do you call it? Owl statue over here. That should be over here. Yeah, there he is. He just popped in. There we go. So we save our progress just now. Now what we're gonna do is go to this thing. Wonder what it could be. It's a dude. Somebody, please get me to shore. All right. So this is Miko. He's dying. You gotta help him get to shore. I'm Miko, the Zora people. Guitarist in the Zora band. I think this is it for me. My final message. Will you listen to it? One, two, three. Oh, baby, baby, listen to me. The carnival's beginning soon. We're the ones they're waiting to see. But that girl, our vocalist... She laid some strange eggs, and she's lost her voice. You can't hear what she says. In Great, I, in Great Bay now, something is happening. Is it now? Oh, baby, listen to me. I don't, I don't want to beg. Gerudo pirates, they stole the girl's eggs. They went to stop the Gerudo pirates, then pow and bam. I got knocked down, and here I am. Baby, if I die like this, even if I die, it won't be in peace, that's for sure. Somebody please rest your legs before the pirates take their toll. Oh, somebody, somebody, please heal my soul. That's all. Thank you. Oops.
You got the Zora mask. This legendary this mask contains the spirit of a legendary guitarist. Wear the mask with the C to inhabit the body of a Zora. Press C again to return to normal. Carve my farewell song on my grave. I'm depending on you to help that singer girl. Okie dokie. So now that that's over with, we now have the Zora Mask, which will allow us to get to the Pirate's Fortress. And we can go to uh, the, you know, whatever it's called, where the Zoras are, where the Hangout is. And we can learn some stuff about, you know, the backstory of the Zora Eggs and whatnot. But we can just go straight to Pirate's Fortress, which is what we're going to do. So I'm going to swim over there. This is how Zora works. Swim very fast, and then you press shield to do electric barrier. Uh... And Pirate Fortress is over here. We also have Tingle over on the that platform, but I don't really feel like dealing with him as of right now. So here we go, over here. These little signs over here, it should be this one that has the yeah, secret entrance to the Pirate Fortress. And we go in and here we are, the Pirate's Fortress, which we're going to do. Hey again. <laughs> so, there's a funny thing that I just found out about. The footage of me getting the pirate's eggs is mysteriously gone. I forgot about that. So, Guess what? You're just gonna have to use your imagination. I also probably didn't get the footage of me getting the stone mask and getting the hook, hook shot. So, when you see the next clip, I will already have four Zora eggs and I will be heading over to Pinnacle Rock to get the last three. So, sorry guys, there's nothing I can do about the missing footage. <sighs> Anyway, enjoy. <sighs> What's up, YouTube? This is Bro52. I just realized I forgot to hit record after a 30 minute episode. That sucks. Uh, you guys missed a lot, really. We went into the Pirate's Fortress, we got a piece of heart, the hook shot, um, uh, the stone mask as well. The Zora mask, missed that. A piece of heart with the mask of truth. Wait, I don't know. No, you saw that. Yeah, you saw the Zora mask and all that. You missed the mask of truth, a piece of heart, the hook shot, and pretty much the entire completion of the Pirate's Fortress. There are four Zora eggs in there, and we got them in bottles, and we just put them in the laboratory. Man, I can't believe I forgot to hit record. And we also got a picture of Gerudo, which we're going to need right now to finish the rest of the Zora eggs. So there's four there. We learned that there's four there, but there's three. There's seven in total, so we need three more, obviously. So, we have to go over here and get a seahorse from this dude in exchange for a picture of the Gerudos. I wish I remembered to hit record. There's no way for me to go back now without deleting all my progress, and I just don't want to do that. So, if you want to see the entire gameplay of the Pirate's Fortress, look it up on YouTube. Sorry that I messed up again. That sucks. That genuinely sucks. Right, so we got this guy. I've been catching fish in these seas for 30 years. When it comes to catching fish, I'm even better than the Zoras. That's why I'd like to be saying anyway. Lately, the sea waters have gotten really warm. It hasn't helped my fishing at all. And what's worse, this water's gotten murky, so when I ship out, I always lose my way and somehow end up back at the shore. We fishermen, and even the fish, are in the real predicament. Help me. Please take me back to the waters near Pinnacle Rock. Are you interested in that fish? It's a rare fish, isn't it? It's called a seahorse. I caught it swimming around here, just off Pinnacle Rock. Since it's rare, I was thinking of selling it at the town carnival, which should be starting soon. If you want, I'll give it to you, on one condition. 
Do you have a pictograph of the female pirates? I do. Oh, that's it, that's it. I had a picture like that. Well, aren't you a crafty one? You'll give that to me, won't you? In exchange, I'll give you this. Alright, so we have the seahorse. Hurry, take me to Pinnacle Rock. Alright. And Pinnacle Rock is where the, uh, the last three eggs are. It's those two rocks right there. Alright, so here we are at Pinnacle Rock. Go ahead and let this guy out. You have strange powers, Bro 52. I have a request for you. Please follow me. Alright, so this is basically the Gerudo uh, Valley. Following the Poe. Here in the depths of Pinnacle Rock live major sea snakes. My friend is trapped here. Brad 52, can you please find a way to rid the area of all my sea snakes and not my friend? All the sea snakes and not my friends. Yeah. So, this is kind of like uh, Mario 64 with the Unagi eel. Instead, we have these freaking giant sea snakes that are really disturbing. We need to kill them with our city. There they are. And there's an egg right there. Here we go, we're gonna pick it up. Let's kill all of these to get the piece of heart. There's another one right here. Oops, he ate me. Okay. There we go. Let's go down and get some magic in these jars. Okay, they won't all have uh, th uh, Zora eggs in them. Pretty sure it's not. Oh, yeah, there's. Took a while to spawn in. There we go. There should be eight sea snakes in here total. And this is our fourth one right here. Here we go. I really need some magic desperately. Pretty sure the. F oh, oh, never mind. That blows my theory out the water. Well, no magic. Thank you. Alrighty. Should be our next one down here. Magic. A green ruby. Not what I wanted, surprisingly. Don't hurt me. Should be another... A chest. Presumably with rupees in them. There we are. Alright. 
on our last two, but I really need magic. Pretty sure there should be... Yeah, there's drawers down here. Awesome. All right, that should be well over enough to finish this. Don't hurt me! Oh my god. Should be our last egg. Another chest. I'm good. It'll cap off my rupees anyway. Oh, jeez. Come on, man. And there we go. Let's talk to these guys. They'll give us a piece of art for reuniting them. Thank you, Brefity 2. This is a symbol of my deepest gratitude. Alright, and the final Zora Egg. Now we're going to swim back and uh, put them all in, and something awesome is going to happen that you guys will see. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Just gonna go ahead and get lost. All right, here we are. We have all our Zora eggs. There's four in there. These are the last three. We're gonna go ahead and plop these guys in. And uh, yeah. I need my foot to be on that. Nope. I need my foot to be on a pole. Okay, it just doesn't wanna work. Wow, this is just really finicky, isn't it? Come on. There we go. Good, all the eggs have been brought together. It's going to start. Quick, come to the front of the aquarium. Look at this. What does this mean? What in the world could this mean? I've got it. Don't you understand the way these Zora children have lined up? It means... Right, I need to switch my Zora mask, I believe. Put that there for... There we go. I... Wow, this joystick is nice. Down. Down. Oh, I need to... Look at a Z target. How about this? Wait. What do you want me to do? You don't have some kind of instrument. I do, but it doesn't work. Let's try the ocarina. Ocarina. Do you like the ocarina? There we go. Okay.
This joystick is just amazing. This joystick is amazing. There we go. Nothing. Not a thing. Could it be using the wrong... You learned the new way of bossa nova. It's the melody taught by the Zora children that invigorates singing voices. Yes, it's... Yes, that, yes, it's that instrument. Hmm, if these words were born to teach the song, then hurry. Let's play this song for the Zora who laid these eggs. Alright. So we will do that in the next episode. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like. I'm going to just think. And remember, stay gamer.